Well, a small red dot has space nerds all over the world very excited because the dot is actually the most distant star we've ever seen. It was captured by NASA's Hubble telescope. And here's the mind-blowing part. The light from the star has taken 19.9 billion years to reach Earth. It's been nicknamed Arendelle, meaning morning star, because it existed during the dawn of the universe. Well, star guru Rob Davison is with me now. I'm not sure if that's your exact formal title, star guru, but we'll go with it. Uh, Rob, how significant is this discovery? Uh, so it's very exciting for Hubble to find this one. It's a big jump from the previous star that it found in 2018, which is about 9 billion or it taken 9 billion years. This one's taken 12.9. So it's a fairly short time after the Big Bang. Yeah, give, give, it, give or take a few years. When take, yeah. I look at the picture with my, um, you know, admittedly untrained eye, uh, mm. I see a red dot. So what can scientists actually tell from that picture? So from that red dot, it's, it's within this long red arc that you can see. And that's actually a whole galaxy that's been magnified and distorted by the gravity of a whole cluster of galaxies in the way. And the fact that there is a red dot and not just a smudge like everything else is the sign that that is a, an individual star. Um, so to be able to see that at such a distance, it needs all that extra magnification. Okay. Now, there has been talk around that it could actually be a black hole or a star that's imploded on mm -hmm. itself, which is just mind blowing in itself. Uh, should we be worried? What does that mean? So we don't need to be worried at all. Um, it is a very, very, very long way away from us. Um, at this point, it will be about 28 billion light years from us. Um, but it has probably turned into a black hole because they think it was about 50 times the mass of the sun. So that's big enough to then turn into a black hole. OK, so given that it doesn't exist anymore, what is the point of naming a star, Arendelle, uh, when it doesn't exist anymore? Well, it might not exist where it is, but we can still see it. So for us, it's still a star that exists. Um, and for it to be such a, a record breaker, I think it's a, it deserves a, a good name like that. A good name. You think that's a worthy yeah. name? I, th I think it's uh, as good as any. I think the Lord of the Rings fans will be very happy as well. It's better than Twinkle Twinkle, I suppose. Hey, yeah. uh, Rob, I think it's made your weekend, and I'm very happy about that. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you.